The RAF's 22,000 pound bomb is 25 feet long and perfectly streamlined to give it maximum penetration power. Bombing up was quite an operation in itself and special cranes and trolleys were brought into service to get the world's biggest bomb aboard the world's finest bomber. Lancasters had been specially modified to carry these 22,000 pounders. Aircraft, in fact, have always been the limiting factor in the size of bombs. In the last war, a 20-pound bomb was considered pretty grim. Early in this war, a 1,000-pounder was regarded with awe. In March 1945, the RAF produced the 10-tonner, the Grand Slam. On the 15th of March, Lancasters used them to attack the viaduct at Arnsberg, one of the main exits from the Ruhr. Any moment now. By this attack and a second on the 29th, the Arnsberg viaduct was destroyed. The first time the 10 tonners had been used was on the 14th of March against the viaduct at Bielefeld. Newsreel pictures of the shattering event were shown at the time, but it's now possible to give a close-up of the result, including a crater 120 feet wide and 35 feet deep. The effect of Britain's Grand Slam was more than 10 times as great as Germany's doodlebugs and rockets and the RAF used them to far greater advantage for precision attacks on special targets of high military value.